First thing you want to do is open Minecraft. I'm going to load a single player world. Make sure you're in creative mode. I like to disable structures, and I also prefer to load a flat world. Here I cut out a region I'm going to use for my test map. I've gone ahead here and built us a test map. This includes here a tire, a set of stairs, some water, over here we have our spinner, a set of ladders, our snowball pile, and of course our finish line. You can go ahead and build your own test map. Just try to include the things I've shown you so far. Next, do yourself a favor and smack the save button. And start up our mineways. We can load up our test world like so. And finally, we right-click and drag the region we want to export. In order to get our map into map mod, we'll need to export for rendering. Name your file map and export. I prefer to only have RGBA selected because the others are kind of redundant. And now we have the files we need for map mod. Now I open up Blender 3D because I need to make some edits before I can use this map. Blender by default will come with a cube camera, and a light. We don't need these, so I push A on the keyboard and delete. Next I go to File, Import, Wavefront.Object. This will let us import our test map from Mineways. Select your map.object file, and here it is. We can now see our map in Blender 3D. Let's go ahead and click on Material Preview, because I want to see our textures and they're fucked. There's no need to worry, I'll show you how to fix this. Hop on over to your materials panel. Now just select a material that's missing a texture. Go to the Blender Shading tab and find the node that looks like this. Make sure the image is pointed towards the right texture file And finally, with your map selected, push Tab on your keyboard to enter Edit Mode. Push A on your keyboard to make sure everything is selected. Now go to your Materials Property panel and click Assign.